This is my favorite technique for posterior polar cataract. A very safe technique which totally avoids all the complications you have heard that happens in a posterior polar cataract like this. It's a low flow technique. The pressure is never raised beyond the normal intraocular pressure. Much of the surgical duration the pressure is atmospheric which means that the posterior capsule is not pushed backwards by a positive pressure. Zonules are not put on stretch. The lens remains in normal physiological position. The posterior capsule is lax or normally stretched during the surgery. So the risk of tearing of the posterior capsule will not occur. In my opinion, the pre-existing tear of the posterior capsule is extraordinarily rare. We do not have to predict that in every case. This is a single tunnel and uh, the uh, single tunnel is adequate to do the entire surgery and there is no congenital flap except for a small frill that is there as you took the, uh, the uh, first entry through the anterior most clera. It traverses across the limbus and cornea. You have to ensure that the anterior end of the tunnel is horizontal, not tagged behind which ensures the SIA of less than 0.5 diopters in this patient. I have positioned the steep axis in the horizontal meridian such that whatever prevailing pre-existing against rule astigmatism is also uh, controlled. Hydrodissection as you saw is capsular separating hydrodissection which is extremely safe if the posterior capsule is not pushed backwards. I did a complete capsular separating hydrodissection. Nucleus is managed by bisection and it's sandwiched out of the eye under the protection of continuous visco uh, infusion into the anterior chamber. The endothelium is never rubbed with the moving nucleus. Cortical aspiration is done again using the Simco cannula and the main port, single port and the posterior capsule is not ballooned backwards which ensures that a, a focal pressure is not put on the central thin posterior capsule. I have never broken posterior capsule by this technique. I must have done thousands of these surgeries. The eye oil can be implanted and centered to the visual axis very comfortably. You can commit to implant any lens. This is a multifocal beautiful lens. You can commit to implant any lens in a posterior subcapsular cataract or a posterior polar cataract and give excellent results to the patients. And this is a very good technique, very quick procedure and uh, you have to aspirate the entire visco from behind the lens in the capsular bag and I specifically clean the angle region so the postoperative spike of pressure doesn't occur. The eye oil is centered to the Purkinje image. Moxifloxacillin is injected into the capsular bag by depressing the lens and then the pressure is raised by infusing BSS into the eye and the pressure is never above the normal intraocular pressure as checked by depression at the limbus. There is no need to hydrate this tunnel as the collagen has not been disfigured during the surgery and this, this tunnel never leaks. Uh, during the post-operative period. The eye is kept open and the post-operative medications are started immediately. Thank you.